What's going on guys? Nick Foy here from AskNickFoy.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We are getting back to posting daily video tutorials for you. So if you come by each day, you should find the newest upload. So today's video, we're going to be covering Clicky. It's an analytics software tool that I use in my business to be able to track my websites. I like to see you know, where people are coming from, how many people are coming to my websites each day, what links they're clicking on to find my website as well as outgoing links, you know, links that they're clicking on that make them leave my website. So Clicky's got a lot of cool features and tools that you don't get in Google Analytics. So I, I run both analytics programs. I have my website connected to Google Analytics and I also have it connected to Clicky. That way I can kind of look at data in two different ways because they both do different things. So it's one of the things I recommend to you is you know, sign up for both, get your website connected to both because it's pretty cool how both of them work differently from each other and it gives you a lot of extra insight around your website and around your business to help you make smarter decisions. All right, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and hop on over here to my computer screen and let's get started with today's tutorial on Clicky. Okay, so here I am logged into my Clicky account. Again, it's free to sign up. They also have a paid plan that will allow you to add multiple websites and I think it unlocks some different features. When I did it the very first year, it only cost me $30 for the entire year, uh, but I think it renewed at 110. So if you use it for the first year, you might get in at a discount and then if you renew it after that year two, it will be at over $100. It's about 10 bucks a month, so it's not too expensive. Uh, but again, they do have a free version, I believe, that you don't have to worry about paying. I did the paid program because I've got lots of different websites I want to track. So here we are on my golf practice guides website as an example. So, so far today, up here, it gives you a little summary. I've had 435 people at this point stop by my website today. Five of them are currently on my website right now, shopping around, clicking different links, reading different blog posts. And you can see the actions, which is basically page views. So these 435 people have done 637 different actions. Now, if I wanna zoom out, I can click here. It'll drop down. I can do yesterday, two days ago, last seven days, and all these other time spans. You can even get into monthlies and custom date ranges. If you wanna pick a different website, if you've got multiple websites, I can switch back and forth right here. Or I can click right here where it says golf practice guides. It'll take me back out to the home page where it gives me a summary of all my different websites on one page so I can see all their different charts and graphs. Uh, but inside this dashboard for a single site, this is what it's gonna look like. You've got the menu tab running across the top here. So dashboard, visitors, content, searches, links, um, the location, campaigns, goals, uptime, and then these other features and then your preferences is where you'd go to find like your API keys when you're trying to connect this to your website. You'll have to copy paste the different API secrets and API keys into the plugin. There's a clicky plugin for WordPress websites you can install and it, it's pretty easy to integrate this into your WordPress website. That way it can begin tracking and you can also see some data from inside your WordPress website. That way you don't have to log in to clicky separately, but I'm logged in separately right now. And I usually leave this browser tab open so I can just check it every day. So the basics, again, visitors, actions, shows you your daily totals there. Average actions per visitor, total time spent on website, average time per visitor, bounce rate. So just the basics, it's under the summary tab here. You can navigate over here to visitors, actions, uniques, and time if you want to look at data differently. Then we've got the visitors box here where it'll give you kind of a graph breakdown so you can see when traffic spikes were happening. So throughout the day, you'll notice it got higher and higher right around the morning time. And then in the evenings when people are usually sleeping, it dives down lower. You can also kind of see a little graph in behind here that's kind of faded out. That's yesterday's if I'm trying to compare, you know, when people are on my website. So yesterday we had a big spike here between 7 to 9 a.m. And again, that was kind of the case today. We had most of our traffic here between 7 to 10. And then it kind of dies down the rest of the day. Down here we've got links, so incoming, we have outgoing, then domains, recent, unique. So it starts off on incoming, so I can see people were clicking through from Facebook, which is probably from a Facebook ad I'm currently running. 
different Pinterest pins that I've got on Pinterest are sending traffic to my website. And then if we wanna click on outgoing, this is gonna take them out to Amazon usually because I've linked to affiliate products on Amazon. So if they decide to buy different golf clubs, different golf equipment, training aids over on Amazon, I receive an affiliate commission. So I'm earning some affiliate income by driving my website visitors over to Amazon for them to shop for different products. So outgoing, you can see where people are leaving your website. So some people are clicking through to my Instagram page, but mostly it's to Amazon. Then we've got content. It starts you off on pages, but you can also go to entrance, exit, downloads, events, media. These are different tabs to cycle through. So content, you can get a quick overview of your most visited blog articles, web pages on your website. So again, if you watched my Google Analytics tutorial, that we ran it through an example of my hottest female golfers article, which is doing really well right now in Google search. And that's driving a lot of people through my website from Google that are searching for this term. So anybody goes on Google, types in hot female golfers, hot female PG, LPGA players, any types of search queries similar to that, my article's ranking in the top of the Google search results. And that's what's sending me, you know, 86 to 150 people per day. And that's driving lots of traffic back to my website for them then to read my article. But they can also opt into my email newsletter or they could check out my products. They can click over to Amazon. So it's good to drive traffic to your website using search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo. So you can track how effective your SEO campaigns are going uh, down here under traffic sources. So searches, 186 people today came through searches. 161 people today have come through social media. Again, mostly Pinterest. And then we've got direct advertising is my Facebook ads. And then any links or media sources. And then searches, if they are coming from searches, sometimes it will show what things are typing in. So how to hit a draw, face balance, putters, putting drills for beginners. So these are some queries people typed in to find my website. This is my ConvertKit email subscribers. So I'm not sure why that's showing up under searches, but apparently when they're clicking this link in one of my emails that I sent out, then that sends them to my website, but it's classifying it under searches for some reason. I'll have to figure that out. You can go here to keywords, recent, unique, rankings, and then a lot of these are under secure search where it won't show me what they were typing in. But if you set up Google Search Console, you can track what people are typing in to find your website. And that will be in another video lesson. I'll do a review of the Google Search Console. Lastly, down here, we've got the locale. So I can see most of the people coming to my website are from the United States and the UK, some from Canada and Australia, and then it dies down after that. You can go specific cities. So Chicago, Lincoln, Nebraska, Corden, Indiana, Vancouver, Toronto, Los Angeles, so you can break it down by cities. We can break it down by language, English, Spanish, Dutch, French. So there's lots of different ways. You can quickly look at data here on this home page under your dashboard overview. So again, the basics, your visitors chart, what content's getting looked at, what links they're coming from, what links they're clicking out to. And then as we scroll down here, we can see what people are searching, their locations they're coming from, what cities, what countries, and traffic sources. Now, if we want to go into more specifically like one of these tabs so we can go under visitors and it will just show you a big log of all your visitors. So it shows what time. So the most recent was a few minutes ago at 321 and you can see pretty much throughout the hour how people are hopping on every couple minutes on my website. You can see that each individual person, what actions they're taking. So I could click here and we'll be able to see what page they were looking at. So in this case, they were looking at a golf article about drills to crush their irons. I can see their first visit when they first ever came to my website and what page they landed on. And then it looks like they landed on another page and it shows they came from my email community. So from ConvertKit. So I actually did a video tutorial on um, how to set up these Google URLs. So the Google URL builder, it allows you to track people coming from your email list. So anytime people click links in my email service provider, which is ConvertKit, it's got that special code in it that I set up from Google and that's able to track then in Google Analytics or in Clicky, I'm able to see, okay, this person came from that link that I created and it shows specifically what email they came from.
So in this case, it shows email number two. So I numbered every single email in my autoresponder that gets sent out to my subscribers. So email one, email two, all the way to like email 48. I think I've got 48 different emails right now in my autoresponder. So I can quickly see, okay, email number two, this is the one that they clicked on today that sent them to my website where they were reading this article. So that's important about analytics. If you wanna get real in depth, you can set up a Google URL tracking link and you could put it in individual emails, individual Facebook ads, individual blog articles, you know, wherever you feel necessary to put those links that you're tracking via that special Google code. So you would just go to Google URL Builder, type that in and you'll find the website where you could start creating those custom links. All right, so back here, scrolling down, we can just get an overview of everybody that stopped by. Uh, we can go into content and kind of look more into our content, what pages are getting the most views today, how much time they're spending, total time, exit percentage rate. Uh, we can go in here to entrance, exit, downloads. So there's lots of cool things you can do with Clicky. It's pretty advanced if you really get into it. If you're really trying to do some advanced marketing strategies, then you know there's a lot of features on here. You can get really into like goals, campaigns, but just for the general user like myself, I just like to come in here and kind of look at a quick summary overview on the dashboard page. So every day I log in and you know just quickly look at how many people stop by, what pages they're going to, and kind of the traffic sources that are sending most of those people. So then I just check that out. At the end of the month, I go and look at like a, a time lapse of the whole entire month. So I could go and look at Marches, I could look at Februarys, and it'll update these results to show you how many people stop by for the entire month of March or the entire month of February. You can see day by day, because this chart will no longer be based on time, it'll be days. So I could see you know which days throughout the month got the most traffic, you can see which pages got the most views for the entire month and which traffic sources were the leading uh, causes of people coming to your website for that entire month. So it's kind of a really useful tool if you wanna look at data in some different ways than you would on Google Analytics, for example. So that's Clicky for you in a nutshell, just a quick overview today of how it works the different data you'll find when you sign up with Clicky. And if you watch my Google Analytics tutorial, you're gonna be able to tell some of the differences between the two. So I'll go ahead and link to that below in this video description and I'll link to the Google URL campaign builder if you're interested in creating some of those custom links to track people that are clicking from your email, from your ads, from your social media. That way you're able to look inside Clicky or look inside Google Analytics and see who's clicking those links, where they're coming from, and you'll be able to get a better feel for what your traffic is up to, what kind of behaviors they're doing on your website, and that's gonna help you optimize your strategy so that you can you know, increase your income or increase your email subscribers, whatever your goal is. You've got all this traffic coming to your website. You wanna make sure that they're doing the things you want them to be doing so that it's maximizing you know, the effectiveness of having a website. If they're just coming to your website and leaving, you're not really getting anything out of that. But if they're coming to your website and then landing on a product page and buying a product, then you know your income's gonna increase, of course. So thanks so much for watching this video. I think we've covered everything, uh, the basics of Clicky. If you wanna look at some of those advanced features, you could check them out on your own time, like goals, like campaign. There's a few advanced features inside Clicky I've never really messed with, so I'm not qualified to talk about them today, but you can experiment, play around, kind of figure out Clicky for yourself a little bit. And again, it's free to sign up. Just go to clicky.com. If you want to use me as the person that referred you to Clicky, you can go to asknickfoy.com slash Clicky. If you type in that URL, I believe it tells them that I sent you, so I might get a referral fee. I don't remember if I'm signed up for their affiliate program or not, but it would help me get credit for sending you if you decide to do their paid plan. Um, but overall, that wraps this video up, and that's one of our second videos we've done now on analytics. Again, check out the Google Analytics 2018 tutorial that I'll link to below. Thanks so much for being here. If you want paid courses, training courses on how to build a website that makes money, how to drive traffic to your website, you can go to asknickfoy.teachable.com. That's a subdomain, asknickfoy.teachable.com. Dot com and you can check out my different programs I offer. I also link to them below in every YouTube video description. I'll see you guys in the next video and until then, work hard, study hard, and get to work building your online business. Take care.